Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Hello, how are you? Happy Sunday. Uh, our first week one Sunday right here. And we're starting off with some uh, elite football. 2022 Panini Elite Football, six box picker team number three. Half case from a fresh case. A very big thanks to everyone here for getting in on the action. There's Eddie with that last spot mojo star next to his name with the Cleveland Browns. 70% of the time, last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. There's everybody else. Thank you, everyone, for getting in on it. We sold this out straight up, no filler, which I also appreciate. All right, so here's that elite case. Give me a, let's pop this open and let's see which six boxes we're gonna do. Pick your team four is already uh, in the store and I think we're almost in single digits on that. We can run this back tonight pretty easily if you'd like. So there's six boxes in the back right here and six boxes up front right over here in the foreground. We'll roll the die. We'll go one, two, three for the back six and four, five, six for the front six right here. And it's one. So we'll do the back six right here and this we will save for, uh, for pick your team number four. Mark these four so we don't confuse. We also have random team versions of this as well. So we'll mark those four on top of the boxes here. And let's roll with this one. Our Rex in the house. Rex, like, what do you think about Justin Fields? Not throwing a touchdown today. I don't know whether it's a little unfair to judge Justin Fields and Trey Lance today. That that field was a mess. It's kind of crazy to think, Rex, that these are these are going to be some of the last uh, adverse weather games for the Bears. Because I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take them to build that stadium, but the new stadium is going to be a dome. And we've, we've got a poll loaded up today, ladies and gentlemen. You can vote in that right now if you'd like. And get into Pick Your Team 4. Almost in single digits on that. Who's going to win tonight's Sunday night football game? Tampa Bay Buccaneers are the uh, road favorites at minus 2.5. They're in Dallas. And since it's week one overreaction time, what is, what is your overreactions? Tell me what t fan you are of, what team you're a fan of, or just any team. Talk about any team. What's the overreaction? Oh, Fields did get a TD, but didn't you? Oh, what did you say about Justin Fields not being able to throw a touchdown? Did I say that? And we got, got Alcaraz winning the uh, U.S. Open on the men's side. Good uh, good match for him. I guess I could flip over to Sunday Night Football on NBC. Oh, Logan said that last night. I see. Box number one of six, half case break. Second half in the store. Good luck, everybody. We'll see Dak Prescott a little bit later tonight, 399. And we've got a big Justin Jefferson, a Moxie two color patch. That's pretty cool. That is 47 out of 49.
There you go. That's Jerry and the Vikings. Yeah. No no need to double check, Jose. It's right there on in the uh, in the title. There's Jalen Wiedermeyer to ten. And this is for the Buffalo Bills who looked great on their Thursday night game. This goes to Travis. Nice low number on that. Buffalo! <laughs> See, tell them that. Tell them you're right, Jose. The site was correct. You got yelled at. Yeah, it's it's a new release, so we're not. We're, it's not even going to be in house until Wednesday. But we couldn't even do it any earlier, if we, even if we wanted to. There's Jalen Naylor to nine ninety nine. Saquon Barkley had a really nice day today. He, I think he might be back. Is he back? And there's an on-card auto, Danny Gray. Pen Pals rookie auto for the Niners. Jerry. Yeah, I think this is the set where they're finally out of their college uniform, right, in their pictures? I think. We'll find out. I think for the most part, yes. This will be for Jerry and the Niners once again. Nice. Or at least everything's their their team uniform. Daniel Jones, Giants won today. That's the 399. There's Trevor Lawrence, uh, spellbound. You think we could spell Lawrence by the end of this break? I don't know, it's a lot of letters. That'll be for the Jaguar, Steve Nolson. There's uh, Montrell Washington for the Broncos to 999. Yeah, the Colts struggling today, Rex is pointing out. We got Chris Olave to 88, how did he do today? The rookie wide receiver, can't really expect too much in game one. Yeah, absolutely. No worries, Jose, thanks for checking in, man. I'll see ya. No, working is good, though. Better than not working. Money for breaks. Olave, three catches for 41 yards. Not bad, this goes to the Saints, that'll be for Andrew. Justin Herbert taking care of business against my Raiders. Jerome Bettis is the autograph. Nice. Passing the torch auto. 29 out of 99. The bus driving its way to Sean Maddock and the Steelers. And there's uh, Alante Taylor for the Saints to 399. Got uh, this DJ be DJ Moore for Carolina to 75. That'll be for Dominic. They got the dub today. And an elitist Aaron Donald. That's kind of a cool looking card right here. I thought that might have been a one of one even. All right, nice first box. Next box. Rex saying, poor Trey Lance, he's got a lot of stuff to clean up. Yeah, his uniform is all muddied up. Yeah, I wish that game was uh, was in better weather conditions. I would have liked to see, you know, just, just 
Joseph would have loved to see uh, those two guys in in a uh, in drier conditions running around out there. Trey Lance went 13 of 28, 164 yards, and an interception, rushed for 54 yards. Um, Justin Fields threw only 17 times, but 121 yards, two touchdowns, interception, and then rushed for 28 yards. Oh, nice. Nice, Nolan. That Nolan was really nice. Real beauty in the person. Glad you got it safe and sound. Now, our poll question for tonight, and we'll usually do this poll question on uh, on island games, right? Sunday, Monday, Thursday. Uh, who do you think is going to win tonight? Jose's got a, uh, that was FSU in the chat. Jose's got uh, his Buccaneers, obviously. 62% of voters are saying they're taking the Bucks minus two and a half, the road favorites. Good luck, boys and girls. It's Kyle Phillips, 299. Ooh. You got it quicker than normal, so you got it shipped late Wednesday, and you got it on Saturday. Nice. Devin Duvernay. I feel like Devin Duvernay had a nice game today to 349. Tough day for Derek Carr. And behind Josh Allen is turn of the century autograph. Greg uh, Dulkich. 69 out of 199 turn of the century rookie autograph for my rivals, the Denver Broncos. Scott R. with the Broncos. I'm, ha I'm really happy that football season's back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's see if I was right about Duvernay. Yeah, he had four catches, 54 yards, two touchdowns. I'm glad I left him on the uh, on my fantasy bench. There's Rashad White to, uh, to 25 for the Buccaneers. That's going to go to Walter. Everyone on NBC, except Jason Garrett, no surprise, Adam saying took the Buccaneers tonight. But Adam's gonna go with uh go with Jason Garrett tonight. Actually, I I had some I had some picks too. Let's see if I could dig up dig up my uh, my NFL picks today. Here's a Justin Fields to 3.99. Nice day for him today. It's hashtag good for the hobby. Jerry and the Bears. I guess the uh, the rumors of Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs demise. Not quite there yet. And Chris Olave, nice. Pen Pals, landscape mode. On card autograph, Andrew and the Saints. I think the Saints were a late pickup too. Nice one, Andrew. Hopefully a future star. Future wide receiving star in the NFL is what we're hoping for. Whatever's hashtag good for the hobby. Hey, Oliver, what's going on? The same song for Carrie Underwood. That's to that's Tyron Davis Price, three nine nine. Adam's gonna go with Garrett tonight. He thinks the he thinks the uh, Cowboys just gonna win outright. Beat this guy, old guy Brady. Imagine if Brady loses or has a bad game. Imagine the week one overreaction there. Brady's washed. He's he's uh, he's done. Father Time is caught up with him. Nice Kenny Pickett to 9.99. Oliver Oliver Steelers savoring that win. That was a pretty that was a pretty exciting game, Oliver. Sean Maddock and the Steelers. 
I guess Kenny Pickett's just going to have to wait a little while longer. I don't think Trubisky didn't have a bad game. What's the story with the... Uh, there's Logan Hall, by the way, for the Buccaneers. What's the story with TJ Watt, Oliver? A little worried about that. A, a pectoral injury. Doesn't sound good. And a one out of eight, Justin Ross. Nice low number rookie card for Sean Robinson and the Chiefs. A couple Sean's in this break. And we got a Moxie relic, Deontay Johnson. Out for eight. Oh, that's, that's rough. He was flying around out there too. He looked great. And a rookie elitist card, that's uh, Malik Willis for the Titans. I guess there is still some college stuff there. Did Najee get hurt too? Oh. Update those fantasy lineups. Get well soon, Najee Harris. A little bit of a hoarse voice for Chris Collinsworth today. All right, I, uh, for those of you who are into this sort of thing, I forgot to post, usually in the break schedule, there's a Joe's Picks tabs where I'll put my picks. I'm going to try to be disciplined this year and try to pick five games a week. Five, five Sunday early and late games. Plus the Sunday night, Monday night, and Thursday night game. We'll see how I do this season. I'll, I'll, I'll keep track of those, those bets. Um, I was on the Jets plus seven today. Did not, did not make it. I was on the Bears plus six and a half. Won that one. Was on Houston plus seven. Got that one. They tied. Uh, my my homer pick, of course. Uh, the Raiders plus three and a half. Nothing there. Took the Giants plus five and a half. Got the Giants. So what, three and two on those five games. And I'm with, uh, I'm with Adam Kupperman. I got Dallas plus two and a half tonight. The short home dog. You'll notice throughout the course of the season that I'm a big fan of the underdog. I don't think there'll be too many times I'll be, uh, too many times I'll be picking favorites. So not surprisingly, I also have the Seahawks tomorrow at plus six and a half. Not to say I don't think the Seahawks are going to win that game, but they might, they might surprise. They might keep it close. I'm also doing, uh, and I'll try to be consistent about this this year too. I'm doing cat team money line parlays and bird team money line parlays. Carolina won today, but Cincinnati lost, as did the Lions. So parlay busted already. Jacksonville also lost. That was my, what about a bird team parlay? Baltimore won. Philadelphia won. But parlay busted because Atlanta lost and the Cardinals lost, rendering the Seahawks game irrelevant for the bird team parlay. So stay tuned. If I, if I hit that bird team parlay woo, or a cat team parlay, for example, today's cat team parlay was about, was about 15, was plus 1,500. <laughs> 
which would have been cool. The bird team probably was even better. It was like plus 6,000. Just have to hit once. Once this season. Matt, what's going on? Any idea when Museum 7 will break? I have no idea when Museum 7 will break, unfortunately. There's Joe Burrow at 10. A little rough start to the season for him. We still have to knock out that filler. I think it's that pristine pack. Once we knock that out, as soon as we knock that out, we can do this break. In fact, if it sells out by the end of this break, that could be the very next break because I don't think anything else sold out after that. There's Jermaine Johnson to 399. And two had a solid day today. Hopefully Najee Harris will get well soon. We're rooting for him. Rooting for health. We got Ramondre Stevenson. Epic materials. Three out of 49. And that will be for Karen and her Patriots. There's Ike uh, Egwonwu to 9.99. There's Brady to 88. Herbert to 3.49. Matt Corral to 75. I like the trumpet version of this. It's, it's a good one for for 9.11. We're dominant, Carolina. Jalen Petrick to 99, Texans. Diego. Nico Collins, three ninety nine, and Vellis Jones Jr. is your pen pals auto. The Bears, Jerry. The rookie die cut to ninety one, thirty out of ninety one. The Seahawks I like those die cuts. Christopher. Nice, good anthem. I'll give that. I'll give that fifty out of fifty stars on that anthem. Personally, I'm a big fan of the the instrumental national anthem. Also. Uh, why isn't the uh, the sing-along anthem a thing? I would much rather have a sing-along anthem. That sounds like a lot of fun. I feel like we don't do that as, of as often or if at all. When's the last time you've been involved in a sing-along anthem at a, at, a, uh, at a sporting event? Yeah, Oliver. I'm very excited about that. Dodger magic number at two. Lock that up. And start start getting people some rest, some health, some uh, start try to start setting the rotation a little bit. Maybe see if there's any youngsters we can call up to to see if they might be work their way into the postseason roster. Joe Christian finding that win every quarter parlays to be interesting. You didn't realize how rare it is to happen. Huh. That sounds fun. Nah, probably all the rest, true. Uh, Adam was involved in a sing-along anthem at around 12.55 p.m. today. 
people say that's res disrespectful during a game? To sing along with the national anthem? I feel like, I, I feel like you watch World Cup or soccer matches where the, uh, the England national anthem is being sung. People belt that out. All right, next box of Elite. I don't know. Sing, seems like in Europe, it's more of more of a singing culture, I guess. A lot, a lot of songs being sung in stands. I, feel like we, I don't feel like we don't do the singing. There's no, we don't have like songs and chants. I feel like baseball games in Asia have all these chants and songs, and European soccer matches. All those guys have songs for their. Like, why isn't there a Chris Carter song that they sing? Um, as, as, a, as, a, as a bit of a musician and a, just a music guy in general, you know, I really would like to see more singing in the stands. There's Trey Lance to 24. Die cut. That'll be for the Niners, Jerry. That's a 9.99, Evan Neal. And Justin Herbert, spellbound to 349. We were working on Trevor Lawrence, W over there. I don't know if we're going to get Trevor Lawrence. We only have a couple boxes left. There's Brian Osmoa to 999 for the Vikings. There's spellbound Justin Herbert. Chargers taking care of business, Chris, against my Raiders. Good game, Chargers. Alvin Kamara, yeah. Well, I I think for a lot of it's kind of crazy to think, Oliver, that there we're reaching a point where there are, I mean, there are plenty of people born after 9/11 who who do, who don't know that at all. And I guess you know the the kids that were super young too. But that's how long ago it was. But it does not seem to me a long time ago. Is James Cook for the Bills, Buffalo. That'll go to Travis. Turn of the century. There's Aiden Hutchinson, 72 out of 99. That's for the Lions. How did Aiden Hutchinson do today? Was he the... Uh, Top three to top pick? Oh no, I'm out of top loaders. Cowboys. Teddy's taking the boys in this game, by the way. You have to choose. Gilo, what's up? That's right, happy week one. That part seems like a long time ago, Eddie, that's for sure. Aiden Hutchinson, is he uh, on the score sheet here? Uh, one tackle. All right. One of many. There's Jelani Woods to 45 for the Colts. Nice game for Jamar Chase. It's not quite enough though. There were a couple close TD calls for him too that could have been the difference. Here's another Kenny Pickett to 399. That will be for Sean M and the Steelers. Who looked gassed every time they showed him? Jamar Chase? And a Bailey Zappi 
think that's how you, I think I was watching a preseason game, and I think I saw that. One of the announcers say it like that. Karen with the Patriots. That's right, Gilo. Everyone's saying the Chiefs were dead without uh, without Tyreek. There's another die cut here. Looks like, uh, what, six out of 99. Stephon Diggs for Buffalo. He's doing just fine. Travis with the Bills. We'll get that one. It's Hunter Henry to 399. How did Hunter Henry do today? No, all good, Oliver. It's good to touch upon that. I'm sure we will throughout the evening. Uh, Derrick Henry, 21 carries, 82 yards. EA with the Titans. Not a good day at the office for the Titans, but hey, Derrick Henry healthy. That's what we want to see. But yeah, Gilo, Gilo's Chiefs. Nice game, 44 points, five touchdowns, no Tyree Kill. Everyone was like, everyone in the offseason was like, how do you replace Tyree Kill? How are you gonna replace Tyree Kill? You know, but it looks like they did just fine. Let's look at the Chiefs box score here. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes threw it 39 times, completed 30 passes, 360 yards, five touchdowns. Uh, Travis Kelsey, eight catches. Juju, six catches. Uh, Marquez Valdez-Scantling, four catches. Clyde edwards Lair, three catches, two TDs. Not bad. Michael Hardman with a TD. Fortson with a TD. He's spreading it around. Yeah, I don't think anyone really should have been worried about the Chiefs. Vandy Reid on that team. Patrick Mahomes. I, I mean, not having Tyree Kill might actually create a more balanced offense for the Chiefs in kind of a weird way. Obviously, you'd rather have Tyree Kill, but but that's sort of the silver lining, I want to say. Nice. Uh, Rex, good job. Thank you. Rex tweeted at Justin Fields telling him, hey, sign those cards. Get those redemptions fulfilled. Um, maybe everyone should tweet him. What's his, uh, what's his Twitter handle, Rex? Yeah, Saquon went off today. That's good for the hobby. His Twitter handle is Justin Fields without the I in Justin. Oh, all right. There you go. So let him know. Yeah, Gilo, we were talking about that earlier today too. The rain made that that Niners Bears game a little rough, but remember how the Bears are building a new stadium? I don't know how long it's gonna take. There's Bo Melton to ninety nine. It's gonna be crazy to think like those will, those will be the, some of the last years that we're gonna see the Bears in that in those Chicago weather conditions. There's Montrell Washington for the Broncos to 9.99. Oh, there's the number. I knew this was gonna be numbered. There's 3.49. Yeah, contrast contrasting from uh, Patrick Mahomes. Kyler Murray with that big contract did okay, actually. 34, through 34 times, 22 completions for 193 yards, two TDs, no interceptions, 29 yards rushing. It just wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough. That, that Cardinals defense could not contain the Chiefs offense. Well, it looks like, and we'll see what Russell Wilson can do with Denver tomorrow night. And we'll and we'll see. A lot. Of, it's going to be a lot of high-scoring games, I think, in the AFC West. There's Jaquan Brisker to 399. 
And a Moxie Relic, Aaron Jones. It's 49 out of 49. Yeah, Rex. I mean, I, I would wait. I mean, I would wait a few weeks. Make sure, make sure people realize it's not an aberration. And if it's not, it might be a good time to, if you want to move that Saquon full size helmet, that'd be nice. Turn of the century autograph. That's Jalen Tolbert, ninety six out of one ninety nine. He is a cowboy. Has he been targeted today? No. Here's uh, Ekwonwu again to 79. It's for the Panthers. That'll be for Dominic. Got Spellbound. Uh, Goatbound, that is. T. For Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr.? You're going to have to collect all those letters? I wonder if they puzzle piece together. Is that why that die cut is there? I don't think we're going to be spelling all that out in the last box and a half. But There's Antonio Gibson to 399. It's Walter with the Commanders. And speaking of the Cardinals, there's Trey McBride. Rookie Pen Pals, nice on-card autograph for Rick T and the Redbirds. Chris Godwin to 99, die cut. Tyler Beatty for the Ravens to 999. You know, Lamar Jackson going into the season without a contract, is he going to pull an Aaron Judge and just go off? He turned down a $250 million contract, I think, but the guaranteed money was not as much as... Actually, I actually don't know the exact numbers, but I think the guarantee was not above Kyler Murray's or around there. I think he's looking at more... Uh, Here's Justin Jefferson to 25 for Jerry and the Vikings. I think he's looking more for more of that Deshaun Watson guaranteed money, or close to it. But a big gamble with his style of play, Joe Christian, saying, I agree. All of her hopes, Lamar Jackson goes off. Banked fantasy on him, going ham and cashing in. Well, he... 17 completions... Oh, yeah, plot twist, says Gilo. He's, oh, he's going to hit 60 home runs. That'd be crazy. But instead, he went 17 for 30. 213 yards, three touchdowns and an interception. Just took two sacks for two yards. And also only rushed for, only rushed six times for 17 yards. So is he, is he toning down the, the rushing a little bit? Yeah, it is a big gamble with style of play, but is he adjusting his style of play, Joe Christian? Apparently, he also bulked up, too. I don't know exactly how much. Would he gain, like, another 20 pounds or something like that? Added, added some, some strength to the frame, which is it's pretty good. 20 pounds, it's not, it's not nothing. Good to carry that kind of weight if he's going to play the way he does. Hey, I hope it works out for him. Kind of a down year last year, but a great year for him this year. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby.
Mm -hmm. Tom Brady not looking old. Kyle Hamilton to nine ninety nine. Carson Strong to 99 for the Eagles. Jordan White. What player of the worst start? I don't know. Who cares? We, 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 we want to talk about winners. I want winners. I want players that want to win. We talk about winners here, Rex. We talk about players who are hashtag good for the hobby. It's 46 out of 99. Craftsman Relic, Debo. But that being said, who did have the bad day? Joe Burrow kind of had a rough day at the office. I don't think it's going to affect his prices too much. This guy actually hurt his back, Mac Jones, so that might be a little concerning, getting x-rays on his back. There's Hassan Haskins to 399. Stafford, yeah, Stafford had a had a rough day. Him and the Rams had a rough day. Cam Akers had a rough day. Back to the Futures autograph, Cam Akers. That's Jan with the Rams. He needs to step it up. I think that was, but Oliver, don't you think that was like ring night hangover? I think we've talked about this before, like on, on players' is ring night. Nah, Raiders, they'll be fine, Rex. I'm not concerned about anyone knocking the Raiders. Derek Carr. A few mistakes. What are you going to do? It's going to happen. I don't think that's going to affect his, uh, his hobby status too much, though. It's Keenan Allen, 24. I don't know if anybody really had a... Ooh, here's a George Pickens. How did George Pickens do today? Yeah, they're, that offensive line is not good. That was a problem going into the season. There's the Steelers box score here. And it was not really addressed. The, the uh, offensive line issues were not really addressed. So, kind of bit them in the butt. The defense did okay, though. Better than I thought. Um, Pickens, yeah, targeted a few times, but just one, one catch for three yards. This is someone to look out for as well. Nice one. Sean Maddock picked up the uh, Steelers straight up. Here's a Justin Jefferson die cut. Here's Keenan Allen to 24. He actually got uh, was ruled out of the game because of a hamstring issue. So it might not be hashtag good for the hobby. Claypool used the most. He only had six targets, but what did he? He had the snap count was up for him. Deontay Johnson got 12 targets, seven catches. Fryermuth, 10 targets. Buccaneers, Logan Hall to 399. And that, my friends, there's a field version, Brett Favre. That, my friends, is that. A lot of nice stuff here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's do a quick uh, recap right here. A lot of nice relics. I love the pen pals, on-card autographs. Second half in the store. I'd be happy to run this back. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. There's Jerome Bettis. Some, I like the Moxie insert here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.